everyone welcome back to the channel it's a very wet day down here in the Shire I wasn't actually going to come out filming today because I knew it's going to be it says heavy rain but it's not that heavy but it's still I should come in here a bit it's still a bit crap um, but yeah very grey very overcast I mean grey weather just looks horrible on the new GoPro I've got the new GoPro 11 by the way but it still looks crap um, unfortunately but uh, yeah um, but I'm here to look at some of the windmill churches um, down near Gatwick Airport and they're all to do with Oak, Oakwood Windmill which we've done on a previous video back in the summer which I'll link below I've done a church already uh, around here uh, that's linked to these windmill churches but here I'm at St Bartholomew's in Hawley well Burstow really um, and I have been here before. I came here with Rebecca in 2020, uh, which was uh, really interesting. Um, I had a lovely funeral here once as well for my friend's dad. So, uh, yeah, I'm have a little look around here. The oldest part is the 11th century, but it was um, renovated in the 19th century. I wonder if it's open. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Hello. Don't mind me having a walk, look around your church? No, 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 no. Come on, now go and pay your pay. Is that one of our uh, list of names of rectors? Up here, in the chancel. Up, please. Come up. Right, we've got, we've got this here about Ramsey as well. This time, 1646 to 1719. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's up here. There's, there's a dive, a dive, dive, I don't know what you call it, dive. What do you call Dice it? Diocese. Something or other. There's two plaques there, one that side. Mm. And then there's this one here, that one there. This church, 1719, 1684 to 1779. That lovely. Yeah. And then here, it's got oh. Latin. This is, um, that says, it's Cook, which we, I think was his. Yeah. That bit there, you're standing, I think. This is the original part? Yeah. yeah. Original but part of the church. Then we have that window put in. 1896. Oh, this one here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And it's lovely. One, the one up the top. Because, because of Clancy, they decided, the people in 18 whatever, decided to do, uh, we have seen a star in the east window mm -hmm. because of Clancy, I presume. Uh, this chapel was dedicated to St. Michael and Archangels. Oh. Which I originally, I believe, was the original name of the church going back. Going back. In history, when it was only just that little bit up there. Ish. Good, good. have Saxon origins, really. Yeah, this bit, this bit of Victorian windows. They are definitely yeah. Victorian windows. There was a big renovation, wasn't there, in the Victorian times? Yeah. Am I, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. But they're definitely Victorian. And we've got our two um, World War things. Mm. You know, so... Well, that was a fantastic added bonus. Angela, one of the um, ladies who volunteers there is in the choir, uh, runs the um, parish magazine, gave me a real guided tour, which you saw some of uh, in the video, which is fantastic. So thank you so much, Angela. That was really interesting. What an added bonus. I'm in the little village of Horn at St Mary the Virgin Church, another one of the windmill churches. It's absolutely nowhere to park. I've had to park on a verge slightly, which Angela did say. I said, there's no parking there. She goes, I'll oh, just park discreetly on the verge, it'll be fine. Um, 
is St Mary the Virgin Church. There are a plane coming over. We're still on the flight path to Gatwick Airport. Every four minutes there's a plane coming over. Oh, it's such a dull day today. I have to grade this picture a little bit to uh, spruce up the colours. <laughs> but that's GoPro for you. You know, sunny weather, it's perfect. I don't know much about this church, unfortunately. There are some plaques on the floor. Oh, quite old. Um, 1693, we've got here. And 1690, we've got here. Elizabeth Hope. Um, I think this one's a little bit more. 1825, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Here's another one, uh, 1681, I think it is, 1681. Ralph Hope. So this Hope family seems to be very prominent in the area. He was a gentleman, it says, a gent. Don't hear that much these days, do you? <laughs> it's lovely. Thank you, all the churches have been open so far. Although here I think it's probably quite safe because there's just nowhere to stop. Um, this is interesting. John Sowell died May the 4th, 1777, age 59. His wife died the font is. Um, I'm not even going to make an educated guess because I look stupid. There would be somebody who point out saying actually it's um, 1700s. Could they do things like that? Oh. Pumpkin. We've just come out of Halloween or Hallowdees, Samhain. So even with that it's interesting it's an ancient, the roots of it are an ancient pagan Celtic festival but in a Christian church, they have displays. Interesting. This tiled flooring looks quite old, or is it Victorian? It's not very even underfoot. Um, okay. Thank you, St. Mary the Virgin Church in Horn. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Gravestone all on its own, grave, all uh, fenced off with wrought iron fencing. So there we go, a little trip around Horn. Oh, people are asking, have I had my hair cut? No, I haven't had my hair cut. It's in a bun, but it's getting long again. Um, used to have long hair all the time. Um, almost down, down my back. Back in, I cut off in the 90s for some bizarre reason. I think I was going to work in America for the first time and cut it off. Um, that's by the by, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on. As we're passing, I'll quickly show you, there is the windmill of the windmill churches, which is another video from uh, the summer, which I'll link below. 
but that's the windmill. So I'm in Godston. Three cars going past for a pub lunch at the Fox and Hounds. Let's go. This lovely pub was built in 1368. 1368. It's been a pub since 1601. And you can tell it's beautiful. Very rustic, but very, very warm and welcoming. It was very famous for the smuggler John Trankman, who was ambushed by a fellow gang member and died here of his wounds in 1687. My previous video back from the summer from Goston goes to his grave um, up at Churchtown. And I'll link that story in here now. Okay, this is the grave I wanted to show you. This belonged to John Trenchman, who was a pirate, hence the skull and crossbones, and later uh, a smuggler. So he's notorious in the 1600s and uh, gave that all up piracy in this when he was in his 50s, I think, and then became a, a smuggler, smuggling contraband uh, from the south coast up to Croydon. A former gang member of his was caught and to save himself from the noose gave King's evidence and an ambush was laid out uh, down at Tilbusto Hill where he was caught and severely wounded and eventually John Trenchman died in the Fox and Hounds pub. So that's the story of the pirate. Of course they say this place is haunted but yeah somebody died here but people die everywhere don't they you know. But still a fascinating town. There's a great story up on the wall um, of uh, the whole affair. Yeah, fascinating. Pirate turned contraband smuggler who used to smuggle stuff up to uh, Croydon from the south coast. Yeah. Fascinating. This looks delicious, so uh, excuse me, I'm going to eat. So there you go, a lovely little video in a couple of really nice churches. And thank you once again to Angela for showing me around. Really much appreciated. And what a lovely lunch in the Fox and Hounds as well. With this connection to the old smuggler. But yes, really, really nice. Sorry the weather's been so crap, can't help it. Um, but if you have liked the video, be like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care.